My name is Jordanos and uh, I come from Eritrea. I was born there. I lived there until I was uh, 12. Because of the war, then I moved to Italy where my mom was already there working. Uh, I lived my whole my life there until uh, 2014 when I decided to come to Denmark. So you live in Europe for quite a almost uh, forty two years now. Yeah, I yeah <laughs> I came to it. I went to Italy in 1978. Was a long time. Long time. So how how much do you since you came uh, to Europe, do you ever get a chance to go to Eritrea? Before? Yeah. Uh, let's say that at the beginning not because uh, there was the war, and I didn't want to go back. Uh, but then after the independence, I went there after fourteen years. Then I have been there other three or four times since 1991. Yeah, I don't go there that much, but yes, I do remember everything. I love my country and uh, I'm really um, attached to all what happened there. And I keep all my relations and uh, stuff and my family was really involved in the in the struggle for the independence so i didn't forget anything i mean i'm not that kind of um, you know uh, there are africans who leave the country and then they never go back they and they don't have any any relation but it, it's not my case i do speak the language i write i read tigrinya so yeah, because uh, that's what I was thinking, if you really, after you left uh, at the age of 12, if you still recall, if you still have got friends, because uh, I see many uh, Africans when they come to Europe tend to forget their, their country. And I do have there. family, not any more friends, because of course Eritrea has been uh, through a lot of problems and uh, uh, for a long time we, we suffered the war and it was huge and uh, so all my friends went uh, some to fight for the independence and they never come back and and some are all over the world so I don't have con contact with my childhood friends except one or two but my family yes all the family cousins uncles, aunties. In 1978, you came to Europe, yeah. in Italy. Yeah, so I, how, 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 how was or how uh, life in Italy before you come to Denmark? Let's talk about Italy. How it was during that period in, in Italy? At the beginning? Yes, at the beginning. Oh, it was a shock. Uh, it was a shock because uh, I didn't want to leave the country. I have been pushed and dragged by my family. So I was young, but I knew what I wanted from my life. So it has been like, I was cracked in two pieces. One was there and the other one was here. And for the rest, I learned the language quite quickly. I was young and I went to school, I did, what my mom wanted from me, but boom, like the, the feeling inside or dreams or becoming uh, this or that, for me, everything was closed, you know? Um, I did what I have to do. Mm. I keep doing what I have to do. Eritrea, as you know, uh, was an Italian colony. I did know how was Italy, how was the Italian people, a little bit. Uh, and my mom was already here, uh, there in Italy, in Milano, working. And uh, so I just arrived. Yeah, 
what I remember is that at the beginning, I haven't been shocked about anything because I didn't want to stay there. I didn't even notice. I discovered Milano like, let's say, six, seven years after what it was, how it was, and if I liked it or, or not. But at the beginning, there was a closer, like I wear a closed window. I learned the language because I have to. I, uh, I went to school because I had to. The first three years, I didn't even try to have friends. I was, uh, I am an only child and I was really lonely, but if on one hand it was the situation obliged me to be lonely as a kid, on the other hand, I didn't even try to get in, re in relation with the kids uh, at school or, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't happy. <laughs> we talked last time that you, you, you stuck the restaurant there, right? Yeah, my mom had a, Your a, rest, had a yeah, restaurant. Can yeah. you tell, tell me it was, about the restaurant, how it was? It was a small uh, restaurant. Uh, she was doing like in the evening Eritrean food and in, at midday just the Italian food for the workers around the, the place. Uh, I mean, I worked with her like four years and uh, it was nice while I was studying at the university. The restaurant was uh, a beautiful experience because uh, I did. So what I understood, the restaurant was working one uh, in, 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 uh, during Both. the day. Was during the day, uh, in the midday, yeah, for lunch and breakfast, it was like Italian. Italian. And in the evening, we were serving Eritrean food. My mom is a great cook and everyone loved her. It was a beautiful place and she ran it for 22, 24 years. That's why you didn't took over after, mm. after <laughs> she's retired, right? Yeah, she, after she retired, she asked me if I wanted it. But at the time I was working as a uh, an agent in a modeling agency. So it scared me to take like a place all over me and uh, I didn't want it. And it was, of course, uh, uh, she had it with another person who was like her partner for 25 years and then they separate, uh, they split, but they kept the, the place together. So I was angry with him because I, I lived with him all my life and uh, he was my father and he left us. <laughs> so I didn't want to, to be involved with him anymore and I didn't want to take a, a place and it's not easy. My mom left her legs there. <laughs> yeah. So that is the place where you learn to cook though? Yeah. Yeah. So how long have you been a cook? I am not a real cook. Okay. I, I mean, I, I know how to stay in a kitchen. I, I can do things and uh, because I learned it from my mom, she, she's, she's great in doing it. And uh, I worked with her, with her like four years full time. And then I went away from there and I started my job in, uh, in the agency. Uh, but I kept going there, helping her each time that I could in the weekends. And uh, so I did it like for 22 years since the beginning till uh, we closed it, we sold it. And then when I came here in Denmark in 2014, the first job that I did was uh, working in a restaurant in the kitchen. Uh, since then, like, it happened like from one restaurant to another, I worked always in the kitchen. Yes. 
how it is or why did you move to Denmark? Mm. Why Denmark? Denmark because uh, I had I, uh, relatives here. There is my uncle, my mom's brother, and uh, there is my cousin. Always from uh, my mom's side, and um, I was needing like to move from uh, Italy for personal reasons. Uh, and the project was to give my daughter a chance in another place because Italy lately is becoming like harder and harder and I thought that she was needing something new, a new place where she can get more opportunities. So I decided to move. So how do you compare um, Italy to Denmark when it comes to food, culture, language. <laughs> I don't know if you already speak oh, Danish or not. No, I don't speak Danish. Different. It's really hard for me. My daughter, for her, it was like a, a question of uh, two, three months to learn it. For me, now I do understand when people talk to me, but I cannot answer. Uh, yeah, I can answer a little bit but it's easier to talk in English. Let's say about Denmark. Denmark is a well-organized country. Everything works. The bureaucracy, the, I mean, the, the, the system is functional, you know. I miss a little bit of the heart and the, the warmness of, of Italy because the people in Italy is a little bit different. Today? Uh, it's easy to make friends, it's easy to talk to people. Uh, here is like, I tried when my daughter started school, it was the easiest place to keep in touch with other moms, but I, I think that I didn't find the key to, you know, to get in. I was talking to some moms. I took some, I, we went out for a coffee, stuff like that. But it wasn't easy, and you 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 don't get more than that. You know, you can have. I mean, Danish people is the nicest. You stop someone on the street, you ask, they smile, they give you the information that you need. They are polite, but nothing more. You cannot. You know. Mm. Okay. This is my experience, of course. This is when you put his own experience. I mean, mm. that's what I would like to hear from you. How is your experience? <laughs> so, when it comes to the culture, the the, the food, uh, how do you see Danish food? Do they Danish have culture? their own culture food? I mean, uh, cultural food. I. Yeah, I tasted on Christmas, my family, uh, my uncle has, uh, of course, he is married, he has uh, two great son. I mean, one son and one daughter, and my cousin has uh, three kids, so uh, when it's Christmas, we do celebrate together, and they cook the sweet potatoes and uh, just uh, the meat the roasted meat. I never tasted anything else. The fish, the way they cook the fish, like this uh, marinated fish, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I'm, I cook like Italian food at home. You work in many uh, kitchens here in Copenhagen or in Denmark. Mm. Uh, how do you see, I mean, when you go or work in this, in this, um, yeah, in this kitchen? Kitchens. Oh. Some are like hectic and uh, there is a lot of stress and uh, you have to be quick. I don't understand this um, way of serving the food. If I go to a restaurant, I go there to spend some time and it's not only about the food. It's not only that I need a, meat, uh, a meal and eat it and then I go, I leave. It's about 
talking with the people and if you give me the food like in rush it comes the first me you know curse and then the second and then well, as soon as i finished the first this was the first thing that impressed me the first place where i work it it was a kind of gourmet restaurant and the client couldn't wait two minutes between the first and the second and it was the restaurant policy to do that but if i spend a lot of money in and i go in a pla in nice place it, the food is nice and there is wine i need time i mean <laughs> in italy you sit down and then you wait and the cook has plenty of time if i ask for a risotto it takes 20 minutes minimum it's not like <laughs> you know <laughs> so i mean the difference is probably in, 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 in italy the cooking the cooking fresh not just yeah up, yeah so yeah good. yeah it's also in this place where i work it we mm -hmm. do it like at the moment that's why you have to run and you cannot do something nice and good if you don't give it the time that it needs. You cannot have half-cooked rice for risotto. No way. Hmm. <laughs> and now you are on different Now place. I am in, uh, here in this place and uh, yeah, we are at Scandic Hotel. And I work uh, in the weekends for breakfast, and I love it. I mean, nice this is a new experience. The people is nice uh, to each other. To I mean, not only the you know I work with Rachel, this girl, which is really nice and professional. But with all the people who works with us in the morning, we do have, you work like relaxed with a smile in your face. Everyone do, does it. You guys impressed me when I came here the first time because it was so friendly. Not concentrating your job and that's it. And looking at the other people. <laughs> <laughs> And I loved it. Yeah, I like it. The, the, the system, the, the food. Of course, we do breakfast. So uh, you have a salad and uh, it's not that much that we cook. It's about preparation. And, uh, but anyways, it's, uh, the food is fresh, a lot of fruit and vegetables. And I like this. I like it and uh, I like the professionality mix it with uh, like kindness I do love that kitchen is my natural place mm -hmm. <laughs> it's my mom place so I I'm not intimidated I like it yeah maybe at the beginning you don't know in which side you have to go. Uh, it took me a while to learn where is what. But besides that, when uh, I retire and uh, I stop working, I see myself in Africa. Oh, yes. really? Yes. That's I'm going back home. Wow, not everybody's saying that going back home. What do you decide yourself to say that you're going back home? Why? Because I miss it. Mm. I want to wake up with the sunshine, man. I, I was born in the most beautiful land. Which part of yeah. Eritrea is yeah. uh, The highlands, Asmara. I, I, I grew up in Asmara, but my mom is from uh, a place called uh, uh, a small village next to Mendefera, which is... Uh, in the highlands toward Ethiopia, it's in the south. Oh. <laughs> During the uh, rainy season, everything is green. 
there and you have sunshine every day. The people is nice. I miss the talking, the the sound, the, sm the, the, the perfume of everything. I do miss. Each time that I go there, I'm like stoned by by all, also the bad things. Not all works. Uh, sometimes you don't have the light. Sometimes you don't have the water in the, in the house. But I grew up bringing the water from the river, so I miss that, you know? Thank you very much. My pleasure.